It is the fast, reliable, and tireless performance of a variety of arithmetic and logical operations that gives the computer its great utility and power. But merely looking at a computer won't tell us very much about what it actually is doing. Neither will this tell us anything about the revolutionary material and intellectual effects of such machines. We can easily see the material and intellectual effects of, say, machines for transportation. We know that the modern jet aircraft represents a great increase in speed over the earliest aircraft. We also know that modern airplanes have made the world smaller and changed our way of thinking about ourselves and our world. And future means of transportation will bring even more rapid and radical changes. But even the difference between the speed of an ox cart and the fastest rocket is small when compared with the difference in speed between calculation by hand and calculation by computer. For example, the first electronic calculator to be completed could do the work of 50,000 people working by hand. Scientists, when they speak of a great change in speed or size, prefer to speak in terms of a unit of measurement called an order of magnitude, meaning 10 times as much. Dr. Richard Hamming, a research mathematician for the Bell Telephone Laboratories, in a paper presented before a meeting of the American Academy for the Advancement of Science, put it this way. The computer revolution is often compared with the famous industrial revolution in importance and scope. The industrial revolution effectively freed man from being a beast of burden. The computer revolution will similarly free him from dull, repetitive routine. The computer revolution is, however, perhaps better compared with the Copernican or the Darwinian revolution, both of which greatly changed man's idea of himself and the world in which he lives. Before getting into the main part of this paper, it is necessary to discuss briefly the idea of a change in a technology. Change is often measured in units of an order of magnitude, meaning roughly a factor of 10, 10 times as much. It is a common observation that a change of an order of magnitude in a technology produces fundamentally new effects. As an illustration, consider the following example. Modern jet planes are about one order of magnitude faster than Wright Brothers' first plane. Another example, the fastest missiles are somewhat more than two orders of magnitude faster, meaning about three ti 300 times faster. Automobiles are used at speeds around one order of magnitude faster than a horse and wagon. Each of these have produced whole new effects. Indeed, it is said that the automobile has produced even a change in our morals. Computers have improved in speed by at least six orders of magnitude, a millionfold. In order to understand the factor of a million, consider the following two situations. First, that you have only one dollar, and second, that you have a million dollars. You can readily see that in the two situations, there are fundamentally different effects. You adopt a different view of yourself and the world in which you live. Along with the change in speed, there has been a great increase in reliability, so we now do much longer computations than were practical by hand. Finally, with the increase in speed, there has been a corresponding decrease in the cost, something more than 1,000 times cheaper. It is as if suddenly automobiles cost $2 to $4, houses $20 to $60. And the changes in the computer technology are still going on. These then are the... We hardly need to be reminded that we live in a world that is becoming more complicated and more crammed with information every day. One description for this vast quantity of data on everything from the lifetime earning records of an individual to the beeps and pulses relayed to Earth from a space satellite uses that overworked word, explosion. This time, an information explosion. The computer is an invaluable tool for processing these millions of bits of information in accurate, fast, and economical fashion in accordance with rules and instructions provided by the human programmer. In the most gigantic of all record-keeping jobs, the social security system, more than one million personal records can be processed in one day. This manufacturing plant is entirely computer-controlled, 